it's hair dye day. <laughs> and yes, I am in my PJs. Yeah, anyway, so I finally decided on what I want to do. So I'm dyeing my hair today. It's still bleach blonde from when I bleached my roots and, and all that last time. And uh, there's still a tiny bit of pink and like purplish left, purpley on the ends, but it's not gonna be a problem. So yep, I'm gonna go get my setup all ready and let's dye this hair today. Mm, I'm excited, I've never done this combination before. Um, I'm excited to see how it comes out and I'm already planning out outfits and stuff around it. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, so I have my bowls, brushes, and dye ready here. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is mix these uh, regular dyes that I have with the UV ones and see if I can make it more re UV reactive. But like, my main goal is to try to use up as much of these as I can because, um, well, I still have a lot of this one left, but uh, cause I'm kind of trying to, you know, like get rid of them and stuff but I do kind of want them to glow, you know, cause I like my UV reactive hair dye. So yeah, I'm gonna mix like just a little bit of each of these Eero Eero um, UV hair dyes so that it can glow, so that it's UV reactive. And yeah, I hope it turns out well. And this isn't gonna mess with like the shade too much since, you know, they match. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm wearing my hair dyeing shirt and yes, I have shorts on underneath. Don't worry. I'm not naked <laughs> um, But yeah, all right, so that is the manic panic rock and roll red with a little bit of the Eero Eero UV neon red you can Kind of see that little lighter glob is the UV color I'm trying not to mix too much But I guess I suppose I can always uh, the good thing about these kinds of jars is you can always like reuse them kind of you know like you can like put the extra dye back if you need to you can't really do that with these ones i mean like you can you can try i guess but it's a lot harder because of the like thin opening i mean i guess you definitely can just like scoop it up but it's not as uh as easy <laughs> um yeah, it's also kind of hard to estimate exactly how much I'll need, so I might need to just mix this a couple times. We'll see. Okay, so here is the orange. That is the Arctic Fox Sunset Orange and the Euro Euro Neon Orange. And you can definitely tell the difference in this one like a lot more. That's the Arctic Fox and that's the Neon Orange. It blends in really well with the bowl actually. But yeah, obviously I'm experimenting, so I don't know if this will actually make it UV reactive or if I'll need more of it, but we'll see. Maybe I just need this little glob and that's all it takes. Maybe not. Maybe it'll, it honestly might just get overpowered by the Arctic Fox. We'll see. There's no uh, right or wrong way to do this really. <laughs> not, not in my world at least because pretty much all it is is just experimenting and finding out what colors come out because every hair dye works differently. So. All right. Okay, and here's the yellow. <laughs> and this is the Adore Cosmic Yellow. And yes, I know it looks green, but I have used it before and it is actually yellow. It just has this like limey kind of color to it. It's very bright. And the actual yellow is of course the Eero, <laughs> Eero color. Um, also blends in really well with the bowl. But um, yeah, the green is actually yellow. I know it's it's like kind of weird because, you know, it's green. <laughs> so you're like, oh shit, is it gonna be green? No, it's yellow, it's weird. I can see it lightening though when I'm mixing the two together. So that's kind of cool. It's like a lighter green now. So I'm curious, I'm very curious. I um hope I don't turn my hair green accidentally, but whatever, we'll see. I suppose I will section my hair and, well, I mean, it's already, section pretty much but um yeah okay i did section it out a little bit more i just split this in half basically so i'm gonna do this first and then do the back after but whoo okay let's do this <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so all of the dye is on. I managed to mix pretty much the perfect amount that I needed. I have like just a little bit more of the yellow left. But yeah, I, I didn't have to mix anymore, so, so that's good. I really only needed it a little bit. Still have plenty of hair dye left because I'm only doing this little section, so... We'll see, I might start dyeing more sections of my hair since I've been like letting the back just like rest and grow out. I have dyed it black though, so I'm still doing that, but I might bleach the tips and maybe play around with that. We'll see. But anyway, here is what it looks like with all of the hair dye on. Now, as usual, I let it sit and wait for like an hour. You can wait more, it doesn't matter. These are plant-based dyes, so they're not gonna like mess with the health of your hair, but I usually leave it in around like an hour. And yeah, and then I'm gonna wash it out and I will be back to show you the final look. Hi, okay, so here's the hair. It looks really cool. I say this like every hair dyeing video, but it's because, I mean, that's how I feel. But, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've never had fire colored hair dye this like red to orange to yellow fade. I've never done that before. And I really like it. I'm really digging it. It's really cool. I have ideas swishing around in my head for like color combinations and like fun outfits I can put together with this. But yeah, I did rainbow or sorry not rainbow um fire eyebrow kind of fade over here to match my hair and yeah it turned out really really well i'm really happy with it so the yellow is definitely more of like a orange toned yellow i guess because all of the pigment from top kind of ran over it so i'm not that surprised it's not this like super bright like neon almost like a greenish yellow i guess you know where it gives it that kind of like sourness to it i don't know if that explains it well but anyway it's it's a much warmer yellow um but it works really well. I really like it. The red almost looks kind of pink in some lights and like, I don't know. I think it just, there's so much dimension to it. I really, really like it. I love this fade. It's really fun. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks like there's some pink in there, but there isn't. It's just red. And I really like how the color just changes as I like, you know, play with my hair and run my fingers through it and stuff. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. <laughs> I really like how this came out. Yeah, wow. Uh, and I'm really excited because I have a little unboxing coming up that kind of matches my hair. So be on the lookout for that, hopefully next week, probably. So I haven't tested out if it glows yet. So let's do that right now. Okay. Ooh, it does glow. Oh, dude, that hair dye always blows me away. But yeah, that little bit of drops I added helps it glow now. Dang, that's so awesome, dude. Wow. And the yellow actually does look kind of green in black light. That's freaking awesome. Wow. I'm obsessed with this. If you ever notice this, I, I have a crown. This is a fake tooth. It doesn't glow under black light. I discovered this a couple years ago and uh, yep. Don't take me out to a rave and make me smile cause you're gonna see this. Wow. So cool. Yeah, my tooth is fake because I fell on the ice once and cracked it, so yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, that's really awesome that it glows. Wow. It just, man, those, those hair dyes, the Eero Eero hair dyes are, they never disappoint. I'm always so happy with them. And just like the little bit that I mixed in with the regular non-UV ones, makes it glow like 
Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a like if you did and comment below if you have any questions or anything. Uh, leave me a fire emoji if you watch to the end of the video. If you like other hair dyeing videos or crafty videos, artsy videos, check out my channel. I have a lot more of that on here. And if you like that, then you should subscribe. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.